So many. <laughs> so many. So many. Um, yeah. Every agency, I mean, you're not always going to agree with what they say, how they represent you, the look they want you to represent. Um, there's been so many instances. I think that everything's been dealt with relatively professionally. Um, I feel like your mother agency really has to be a support system wherever you go. So, like, I'm represented in Toronto, and then when you go away to somewhere like Europe, you still need to be in contact because you want to know what's going on. Like, in two months, you want to plan your life. Like, I'm very much a planned person. I need to know where I'm going three months from now. I don't want it to be up in the air. So I was always very clear with my agencies about I want to know where I'm going, I want to have a set plan, I want to know like what I'm doing for school, I want to be able to rearrange my life around this and not have to drop everything and leave in two weeks. And I think that was a struggle because the agency, uh, like the industry is very much like that, you know, it's very last minute, it, nothing's planned, like you have to be willing to drop everything and leave to Asia or go do a three week job. Um, yeah, I had a lot of negative experiences. Um, just mostly communication, like you, you think that, you think that like your agencies are interacting and that they're talking about you and they're going to be ready for you when you come and then you get there and they're like, oh, well, we thought you were like a 34 hip, so, like I almost didn't end up going to Tokyo because my agency freaked out. Um, and realized that my measurements were way off what they had in my contract and what I'd been measured at six months before that. Um, and it just, it sucks because there's no communication between anyone. And if I had been told three months earlier, well, these are the measurements you have to maintain, everything would have been fine and dandy. But it's not the most organized industry because everything is so last minute. And I think that's the biggest struggle. What makes a good booker or management team? Communication. Like calling you a couple times a week, even if you're not booking jobs, to tell you who's interest, who's interested, um, what agencies they're getting calls from. It's always good to know what's going on because there's so many girls on the women's board at most agencies, and it's really easy to feel like you're lost in the shuffle. Um, there's always like one star girl that they focus on, and if you don't keep yourself on top. You're, you are very likely going to get ignored.